I'm so out of practice when it comes to cut creases, it's ridiculous. That is probably the worst cut crease I've done in about five years. Yay! Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Like, it's just kind of stuck in that one position. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all doing well. Before I start this video, I'm just gonna say, please excuse the probable dodgy lighting. I'm filming with natural lighting right now because I'm in the middle of moving back home. So my massive studio light has been packed up. <laughs> I am literally using the good old sun. So if the lighting's a little bit dodgy in this video, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be okay. But today I'm gonna be doing a, another makeup testing video and I I was actually thinking about the fact that I stopped doing makeup testing videos for such a long time because I kind of lost like my whole makeup vibe, I kind of lost my love for makeup and now I feel like it's coming back and I get excited about new launches so I figured it would be nice if I sat down and spoke about a new launch that has especially excited me and that is the new Makeup Revolution X Simpsons Halloween collection launch. So I picked up a couple of items from this collection. So I have actually picked up the face palette, which comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. I have also picked up one of the lip sets. This is a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick set. Not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks, but I love a lip gloss, so I'm gonna see how I like that. And then pretty much the main part of this video is gonna be me testing the Simpsons eyeshadow palette. They do also have like miniature versions of this, but I did pick up the massive one, which off the top of my head, I think was 20 pounds. However, if you are new to my channel and you've never seen me before, then feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you do end up enjoying this video, then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up. There's a police car going past my flight. I'm not gonna miss living in a town centre because of that when I'm filming. And without further ado, I'm just gonna roll onto the video and test out the new Revolution collection. So let's go. If you end up seeing me looking at this side, it's because I've got a mirror here. So if I need to kind of have a look, have a look, looks, look, looks all together, then I'll be looking here. But I'll try to look as much in this direction as possible. So firstly, I am probably gonna start with my eyes and then move on to the face palette and then move on to my lips because that is kind of normally the direction that I do my makeup in or the order that I do my makeup in. So this is the palette. It is quite a big palette, not gonna lie. Not the most travel friendly thing in the world, but like I said, they do have miniature versions as well. But I prefer like bigger palettes. I don't know why. I don't really travel that often. So to me, having like a big palette with every color in is pretty much a dream to me really. So it just comes in this cardboard packaging and then this is what it looks like. This is the Spooktacular Shadow Palette. How gorgeous is that? Like, I remember back, back a few years ago, I was kind of begging Makeup Revolution to bring out with more colorful palettes. And honestly, they keep bringing out really, really colorful, nice color story palettes. I love this because you can do a mixture of looks with it. So you've kind of got some orange shades in there. You've got your like warm orange red shades but then you've also got like your pink tones, you've got your greens, you've got your blues, you've got a mixture of kind of like shimmers in there and it also comes with a mirror at the top as well. I am just going to start off by priming my eyelids. I know in my last video I didn't have this but guess what? She's back. I found her. I have my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5. I was going to say 0 0.1 but 0 0.5. This might be a little bit too light because I've fake tans but it should be okay because it's just kind of going on my lids this is the best thing to prime your eyelids with ever and then i'm just going to take my spectrum a1 a brush and i'm going to use that just to blend it out and then i take a like big crease brush and i just use that to pat the crease in no to pat the product in so it's all fine Okay, so I'm looking very bare now. <laughs> but I've just put my base on, so now I'm gonna move on to my crease color. I am quite literally spontaneously winging this. I don't know how it's gonna look, but I have done like blue slash green looks before. I'm hoping it goes okay. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna take this blue shade down here. This is the shade Bearded Lady, and this is like a pure, pure blue shade. This is my ColourPop E9 brush. Oh, not that much fallout. <laughs> Okay, it seems like it's a little bit darker in the pan than it's actually coming out. Or I'm gonna see if I can like try and build up and that might be the case. As you can see, I have built it up a little bit and it just doesn't seem 
as dark as in the pan but it's still a really nice color and the color payoff is still like quite nice it's still a pigmented shade i know it looks really messy but this is like a trust the process sort of thing so next up i'm gonna go in with a green shade i'm gonna take this dark green here and just pray that it doesn't come out darker than this blue shade this is the shade broomstick i'm gonna pack this shade on with the makeup addiction smudge brush and then i am gonna go in and and blend it in with the tapered crease brush also from makeup addiction so i'm literally just going to put that green in on top of where we put that blue it is a really nice green shade that to be fair i think i'm just going to just about get away with them working together but it's like i said it's still a really really nice green shade you could probably see like how pigmented it is pigmented it is right now as well now that i've put that green shade on i'm just going to take this tapered crease brush from makeup addiction and i'm just going to use that to blend it in with the blue i just like to go quite light when i blend these two shades together also you might see that these two aren't blended together the best but i'm going to keep going back and forth with the other colors and it'll be fine so as you can probably tell the edges are looking like very harsh so of course i'm going to take a color to kind of like blend it out and make sure that the edges of the eye look isn't as harsh as it looks now i was gonna take this yellow shade to blend it out but i think i might take that on the actual lid i think i'm gonna go for a light green shade so this one down here is actually a shimmer so i'm not gonna take this one but i am gonna take this one up here so this is the shade keeping it kudos keeping it kudos and i'm gonna take this one on a very fluffy brush so this is also a makeup addiction brush this is the duo fiber blender brush and because this is quite a big thick blending brush i can just use this to kind of diffuse the edges with this light green shade the stress of blending is getting to me again next i've just taken a couple of cotton buds and i've just put some micellar water on it and i'm just going to use that to carve out my cut crease i like to take off any excess product before i do my cut crease because i just feel like it ends up coming out better <laughs> without any like excess eyeshadow underneath now that I've got my base for my cut crease, I'm just going to take my P. Louise base again and I'm just going to use that to cut the crease. I'm also going to use the same brush that I used. I'm going to use my um, Spectrum A18 brush for this again. I'm so out of practice when it comes to cut creases, it's ridiculous. That is probably the worst cut crease I've done in about five years. Anyway, I'm now just going to take that blue brush that we had that initial blue shade that we used on and i'm just going to use that to diffuse the edges where we've just done that cut crease no new product on it i just like to think and it does make everything look like it's blended together now i'm going to take a another flat brush i'm just going to take this one from makeup addiction this is the medium shader brush and i'm going to take this yellow shade that we said we were going to take down here this is the shade super fun happy slide oh, awful. and i'm literally just going to take this in the middle bit so i'm not going to take it all the way quite a nice yellow shade that because it's not like majorly vibrant it reminds me of like a like pastel yellow don't worry that it's not necessarily all blended together um i will be going like back in with everything just to make sure it's blended but i'm just gonna finish off by taking this white shade here this is the shade uncanny i think i'm gonna take it with my finger because that brush just ain't it oh that is like really shimmery i love that oh, i love like an ice white shimmer there is nothing in this world better nothing <laughs> I'm also just going to take the first blue that we used and I'm just going to take this on my lower lash line. I'm also just going to take that little brush that we used the white, like the ice white on and I'm just going to add that more into my inner corner. Oh my god, how pretty is that look? I'm so buzzing. I'm going to look a little bit crazy now until I put my lashes on but I'm going to put my lashes on right at the end. So please ignore the fact that my eyes look quite bare but lashes will be coming because I've bought some new ones today 
and some new lash glue. So we've got it. So as you can see, prior to doing this video, I did come on and have my foundation pre-done, but I haven't done any like contour or blush or highlight. So we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna use the face palette for this. So like the others, it just comes in this like cardboard packaging. Yay! When you open it up, it has this mirror, which I feel like this is a lot more travel friendly because you've got your bronzer, you've got your blush, and you've got your highlight all in one palette, including a mirror as well if you need it. So first, I'm just going to take the bronzer. So looks quite light. Oh, actually, now that I'm kind of blending it in, that might be all right, actually. So I'm just going to take that on my Spectrum brush. This is the Spectrum AO1 brush. Now I've got a feeling that it might actually be too dark. <laughs> Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. I feel like it's still quite, yeah, that is quite dark actually. Uh, it doesn't seem to be like blending that nicely either. Like it's just kind of stuck in that one position and I'm kind of trying to blend it with like a very light hand and it's just, yeah, it feels a little bit I'm not impressed with that actually. I've had a lot nicer bronzers. I've had bronzers that have blended a lot nicer than this one. Mm. My OG blush brush has gone walkies. So I'm just going to use kind of like a stippling brush for it. So I'm just going to take this blush here. See what this one looks like actually before I quite pink actually which i don't mind in a blush i love a good blush nowadays so i'm gonna give this one a try let's see if this one's better than the bronzer Ooh. i mean it is quite pigmented but i quite like that blush shade if you like more of a subtle brush a subtle brush a subtle blush i'd say that that probably wasn't for you but i like more of like a like peachy blush so i actually quite like that and then finally i'm gonna take the highlighter shade this is like a seems like a pinky if there is one thing about makeup revolution i feel like they've just got the highlighter like game down do you know what i mean like if you get a highlighter from makeup revolution you know it's going to be good and i feel like they cracked that so early on so now i i just don't expect anything less so i'm going to take the highlighter shade this is the shade curve like i said it's like a kind of pinky highlighter hmm where did it go okay let's try that again okay that's a bit better i feel like it's it's not as like shiny as i thought it was gonna be like it's not as like highlighted as i was i thought we were gonna get a nice kind of highlight highlight there but it kind of just disappeared i'm gonna just put some more on <laughs> Try and build, build that up. I mean, it's a little bit shiny. It's quite subtle. As I mentioned, the lipstick set comes with the liquid lip and then it comes with the gloss as well. So I'm just gonna swatch both at the back of my hands. Ooh, quite dark that actually. It's quite a dark nude, which I quite like. And then I'm gonna take the gloss. Let's see what the gloss is like. Ooh, that is actually quite glossy. You probably won't be able to see it on the hands. It might reflect, I'm not sure. They seem to dry down quite matte as well. Oh, it smells like ice cream as well. I think it's supposed to smell like donuts, but oh my God. Mmm. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? Look at that. And now I'm gonna take the lip gloss, which is probably the one that I'll use the most. It looks like it's more of a clear lip gloss, this. Mmm. This one smells quite nice as well, but it smells quite different. It still smells like ice cream more than donuts. Okay, so this is the lip gloss. I actually really like the combo of the both together. I like a very glossy gloss, and I wouldn't say that this is like majorly glossy. I think the biggest thing for me about this is that it doesn't feel sticky. It just glides on really, really nicely. I actually like them two together. To bring the whole look together, I'm just gonna finish off by putting on some lashes. I have these Girls With Attitude lash lashes. They did actually have some lashes in the Simpsons collection. None of them really appeal to me, so I'm just gonna pop these ones on. I'm gonna do it off camera, because I 
haven't put on lashes in about 20 years so I might get stressed <laughs> so I'm gonna put these on off camera and then I shall be right back with the finished look so this is the finished look I really hope that you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful if you did enjoy this video then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already make sure to also tap that bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video a little bit like this one as always thank you so incredibly much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next video very very soon bye